Hello and welcome to a Brave Heart View. Ready to get inspired in only 10 minutes? Your hosts today are Rolanda Watts, actress and host of the TV series Rolanda, Suzanne Senna, TV host and the former news anchor for the Fox News Channel, Marla Maples, actress, TV host, and humanitarian. I'm Ellie Drake, the founder of Brave Hearts Women. Our guest today is a success coach, speaker, and author who has inspired thousands to turn their lives and businesses from funky to fabulous using her turnaround <laughs> techniques and proven methods. In fact, she can help you go from funky to fabulous in one afternoon. Absolutely. Welcome, Ava. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, so before we talk about the fabulous times, talk about the funky times. Funky. How funky did it get to It you? got funky. So if you're having a really challenging time in your life, I have been there. I built a company with a whopping $17 and a glue gun to a million five in sales in four years. And then, this is, please listen to me ladies, from working harder, not smarter, I made bad choices. Yeah. And I lost my marriage and my business and my health in 18 months. And ladies, I had no good shoes to show for it. <laughs> oh, that's the travesty. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, when you've got like all that debt and you're living on peanut butter and you, like I couldn't even afford a car. But first of all, I can't look at you and believe that you were right. on Skid Row there. Okay, I was not, I didn't live in my car, but I couldn't afford car payments. I mean, somebody had to loan me a car. Eli, how long ago was that that, that we're talking was about? Ex almost ex 10 years ago. Okay. So, how did so, you turn your life around? So, what changed my life? A flower changed my life. Oh. Tell us so that. So, simply, simply put, it's like just taking one positive action. I mean, I felt like such a loser. My life was over. You know, I wasn't married, I lost my company, mm -hmm. I sucked at anything. I, you know, I was used to being a boss. I didn't really even know how to type or file. Mm -hmm. I had a cruddy job, but on the way to my cruddy little job, I bought a yellow freesia, just one little yellow flower. I put it in the styrofoam cup at my desk, mm -hmm. and I just, I felt a little better from that one action, just one simple action. And, and that night, instead of going home and eating ice cream, I like lit some candles and I danced and you're like, around Ooh, my that's house. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I write a book about that. That's fabulous. I absolutely. So, so you know, if you're watching the show now, what's a simple action to make yourself better? Just one action. Now, there's somebody out there saying, yeah, but that yellow flower in a styrofoam cup ain't got to get the bills paid. That's yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> very, very true. But I'll tell you, there is, a, there is a, a great deal of study on the power of gratitude. Mm. And as a success coach, I see when people start giving themselves the task of being grateful, they start finding opportunity. They start creating better relationships, being willing to make that really scary call to the person that might hire them. But that, how do you deal with that fear? Because so many of us are in transition right now, yeah. and it's, a, it's the leap of faith that you don't have a, the luxury of not making yeah, right now. Yeah, don't. So how do, you, how do you have the, the courage? How do you deal with the fear factor? And what do you mean, Rolanda, by the way, uh, by, by how, many of, how so many of us are in transition? I think what we're in transition because our, our jobs aren't there anymore. Mm -hmm because our relationships may not be there anymore because of financial issues. Yeah. I think recession is making us have to move immediately in some, dis in some direction. Right. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has to do it. Retirement. Yeah. Yeah. The paradigm has shifted. The yeah. paradigm it's from me, and here's it, from me to we. I believe one of the most important things is to create. we got to create relationships. Okay, so no, you get a support us. system. We've got one right here. We yeah, do. Yeah, we do. absolutely. And I really like what you said about you're working harder, but not smarter. And that's been a big lesson for me, I know, because we can go at it, go but at it. We're working smarter. But we're, but we're not right. listening to what our passions are. Oh, so we're missing so the boat, aren't we? Wise. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how can you give some, some can you give us some uh, encapsulated tips? I mean, this is, we only have a short amount of time to talk about something that's monumental. And obviously, by going to your website or talking to you more about it, or, you know, as a coach, you could get some tips. Right now, if you had to name, like, three things that could help somebody today listening absolutely make a difference in their life in the next week, what would they be? Step one, insurance policy. And that is create a support system. Mm -hmm. You cannot do this alone. So I, I suggest the power of five, get five friends, 
magically we're yeah. here with yeah. five yeah. people. Yeah. Right? right now there Thank is you. sort of a magic <laughs> power with the yeah. power of five. Get a team together so that you are accountable to make positive steps and that you're really there as a team to pick each other up when you're low. Mm -hmm. So that's step one. Okay. Step two, grab the steering wheel. And that means you don't have the time to get down. It's like when you find yourself down, ooh, should we do, literally, physically, get up to get up. Get up, get a glass of water, go put on some lipstick. Do something physically, positive in your life. And not just, don't think about it, do something. Mm -hmm. Do something physical. Mm -hmm. Like, when I say get up to get up, like get up out of your chair and go get a glass of water mm -hmm. and think something positive. Because that act, that... There's a medley of action and attitude. Those mm -hmm. together will really make a change. And attitude and yeah. attitude. You're right? talking about a support system of five, and I've heard people say that your life in the next five years, or how much money you make in the next five years, is the average of five of your best friends. We're talking about going mm -hmm. through a period of transition, so be that. careful yeah. you don't get five people who are... Four yes. people are just, you know, we're all victims. Right. And oh. so power of five oh the gosh. other way. Yeah. I had to get on a yeah. girlfriend the other day who was so negative, and I just snapped. I said, you have, you have your health. You have so much to be thankful for. And she was just stuck in that rut. Yeah. When we find a girlfriend like that, I mean, mm -hmm. how, do we, how do we push our friends out of that rut mm -hmm. and get them into well, a positive place? They have to decide. On it's like, it's like yeah. what road are you going? I, I say... Uh, it's either your windshield or your rearview mirror. Mm -hmm. What are you going to look at? Right. How, and how can you drive your car if you're looking out of the rearview mirror? So, mm -hmm. don't you, you know, think also I, when you mention about you know just get up and finally do something? Don't you think it be said for shifting the energy? I was telling someone just the other day. It seems like if you drive one way to work every day, if you drove a different way that day, you something's changing. World. Something yeah. changes. Yeah. Right. It sounds so. simple and it sounds kind of made up, but the truth is, it makes a difference, doesn't oh, it? It makes a huge difference, and. And if you create a support system to make sure that you're changing the energy, you're going to do it more. So My favorite thing you said was live your passion. So many times as women, I think we're not, we don't allow ourselves to really love what we're doing and to have that passion for something. But isn't that the key to success? I mean, who are we not to be fabulous? That's right. So <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Who are we not to be fabulous? Who are we not to be fabulous? serve the world playing mm -hmm. small? So. Mm -hmm. At any time, you can go from funky to fabulous. The choice is yours. What type of energy do you feel when you say the word fabulous? Okay, let's say it. Should we all say it three yeah. times I together? Love saying it. Let's yeah. say it. Let's say it. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Fabulous. 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 Because you don't have time to waste. Thank and you. imagine who you're helping when you do that. Oh, Everybody. even if you just simply, example. Right. Yes. Yes. I mean, if you look at that Nelson Mandela's yeah. quote, the last word he said, who are you not to be talented, beautiful, magnificent, and fabulous? Yes. Yes. Fabulous. We are fabulous at our core. Yes, so. ma'am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Things. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Going from <laughs> funky to fabulous. We're ready. Fabulous. Right. Fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> to get more information about Eli Davidson, into BraveheartView.com and then click on Resources. Core Inner Circle members, don't forget, you can also access Eli's exclusive video titled Practical Tips on Going from Funky to Fabulous in your, oh, fast, to do it fast, in your core <laughs> members section. Fast, fast. <laughs> Finally, we want you to get your Braveheart view. So to join in our discussion forum after the show or to watch more episodes, go to BraveheartView.com. On behalf of our guest, Eli Davidson, and our hosts, Rolanda, Suzanne, Marla, and myself, Ellie, thank you for connecting and peace in. Thank you.